Okay, so we've got the gearbox just down here. Um, it's 29 and a bit to 1. So hopefully we're going to change the old gearbox, which is 140 to 1 for this 29 to 1. That will release a lot of power because that large ratio gearbox was absorbing a huge amount of power. Then the last time we did the tests, the the ratio was something like 44 to 1. But because we we'll, won't be losing as much power, we're going to have to take a wide variety of pulley sizes and belts and just try and fine tune the overall ratio. Anyway, let's have a look at the gearbox. So we've got an inch and a half shaft in. This is where the water wheel will be attached. So we'll get a different uh, size Fenner taper lock to go into the flexible coupling. And we've got an inch and a quarter out. Grease nipple there. Various level plugs and filler plugs. But let's have a look at this um, plate. It's quite interesting. Anyway, because we'll be running this fairly slow, I think, see, we'll be putting something like 12 revs, or maybe 14 revs, into there. I think we'll just put a good quality engine oil in here. Doesn't want to be too thick and gloopy, just wants to take the heat away and um, lubricate everything properly. Jim's going to come and pick this up in the next few days and he will fit it and then off for more experiments. Here we are in Bourne. Let's just go and have a look at this. Anyway, we're back at Bulldog's Mill. The second part of the experiment. Okay, here we are. We've got the gearbox in place now. Jim's put it in place. The one that we got from RH Rundles. 30 to 1 nominal. And it's running very quietly. It's been running without a load on it for over a week and it's not even warm, which is brilliant. And we've got the generator sorted now. Put a fan on the back of it. Trimmed down fan. So hopefully the generator will stay nice and cool. So what we propose now is to put pulleys and belts in place and see what happens. You can hear how quiet it is relative to the last episode. Input speed 1440 which is a standard motor speed output speed 50 so that gives about 29 to 1 used 4 pints of good quality petroleum oil fill the gearbox when he's at rest oh yeah my comment i will have you to camera it somebody somebody's got to be in front yeah. of it and we're all frightened <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. right I'll just do a piece to camera I'm good at that <laughs> So we're just having a cup of tea and what we're going to do is Jim's going to switch the stop the mill and we're going to put a 10 inch pulley on the end of the gearbox and a 9 inch pulley on the generator down there because we've got 400 revs apparently at the gearbox end at the moment and we want 500 revs on the generator but we don't want to overspeed the generator so we'll just do it gradually bit by bit see what happens 
due to the general awkwardness of things we lost the footage here uh, the multimeter at the moment showing open circuit voltage with the wheel going flat out and no load on the generator and it's quite low what we actually got was 2.1 amps at 140 volts which was 300 watts okay we've speeded the we've changed the gearing again put a smaller pulley on the end of the generator and so therefore the volts is up but the current down a bit and we've reduced the load by putting two of these elements in series so investigations are proving slightly difficult can we see those volts again there please Al Hundred and ninety two volts, hundred and ninety five, two hundred. So let's sort it two hundred at one point five amps. Three hundred watts. Do you want to see maximum volts? Yeah, go on then. That's the load off. I was just moving out of the way of that fan because <laughs> it's going at a bit of a rate of knots. And you just put the load. Can you can we see that connection again, please, Al, just for purpose of entertainment? Hey, that's DC at 300 DC volts. Voltage. Yes. So there we go. Um, we're Get confused. Yeah. We're only getting yeah. 300 watts. Okay, that was an interesting set of experiments. Um, the gearbox is cold and it's been running for several days, which means we're not you losing a lot of power in the gearbox. Whereas the other one used to get hot. So we've saved a lot of power there. We've done various experiments with different gear ratios and this is that generator hopefully will be connected to a grid tie. So we wanted a reasonable voltage. So with a load we can easily get 230 volts DC out of this generator, which will be fine. But we can't get any more uh, watts than about 350 watts out of this at the moment which is sort of disappointing, but you have to remember that this is a breast wheel and the water, if you imagine that is the width of the, the shaft well the water itself is coming into the wheel about a foot below this concrete so it's not even coming in halfway up the wheel we just have to accept what it is but with a grid tie it will be running 24 hours a day between three and five hundred watts every hour. Okay, we got three hundred watts and that's about sort of 200 ish volts and the maximum voltage we got out of it was 400 volts open circuit so this would probably suit a um, a solar grid tie the the open circuit voltage was important so that uh, if per chance there was a, a mains dropout, which there would be at some point, and the wheel uh, was spinning away, we don't want the voltage to be too much for the grid tie, the open circuit voltage. So, but if you get 300 watts, you're thinking that's not very much, but 
if we get let me switch this on we got 300 watts let's do it as a decimal 0.3 of a kilowatt times 24 hours 7.2 kilowatt hours per day and of course unlike solar when it switches off at night and it's worse in the winter this will be the same if not better all year round so we'll times that by 365 2628 kilowatt hours a year that's pretty good that's about the same as you would get out of a 3 kilowatt grid tied solar system so although it sounds low output it seems to work and this is part of the BRM museum on top of Baldock's Mill so if you come here you can see this lot And just look at this photo. Imagine it's taken with a play camera. Look at that. That's a one in a million. Thank you. 